Hello, good evening. It's Friday evening here in Honolulu, Hawaii. I just ate, so... You know. <clears throat> so I know I've been talking about narcissism in my family, you know, and my previous videos when I was starting talking about it, that it created a lot, a lot of backlash, backlash with people that being triggered and not to share my story you know so that people will get informed and can protect themselves you know so usually predators that uh, try to attack my, my nationality and women that what they knew in the philippines you know that what they're doing there with old people whatever based on their experiences in the philippines you know took advantage of people there and it shed their eye uh, and things like that that they thought i'm embarrassed about it you know so you guys went there so from there you know the answer okay so yeah i came from a narcissistic household where my my mom was the very like a spoiled brat youngest you know so my grandfather thrown a lot of mon a lot of money on her you know <clears throat> Most of my aunties, they are BPDs, BPD, so serving also the narcissism in their relationship, you know. So it's really, really bad, you know. The bad thing about it was their narcissists were ugly, you know, they're ugly. So my mom got lucky because my dad was really good looking. That's how that he made trouble in, our ho in the household, you know. So as a little girl, you know, I noticed a lot what's going on with people around me, the way they look at me that time. And then right now when I look back, it made sense a lot. You know, I struggle emotionally, physically, mentally, any kind of abuse growing up, especially when I was small, that sometimes I didn't want to wake up, you know. I had a physical fight with my big cousin that time because I had enough, you know. I didn't understand what's going on, why they pick on me and things, you know. Probably they had no idea, but the energy that I had probably was different. And the uh, look from other people on me being my dad's daughter, being my mom's child, you know. So, you can track it down, you know. It's really a bad childhood, but I had a good memories with my grandfather, you know. He, he, I think he knew what I'm gonna get through with life, you know. So he's the one that, the great love of my life that forever I will cherish, you know. My mom actually used me to get to my mo that grandfather's heart so she can get a lot of property. And then a lot of a lot of his siblings knew about it, and they used her, instead manipulated her, and ended up me struggle as the oldest of my siblings. Manipulated the uh, beating with all the properties is very really, really bad, and where you're looking about these people that, you know, disgusting kind of how they look at the, my grandfather's property, and they just look at it like a wanted to grab it especially some of the siblings you know so my mom really like claiming that she got abused too of course if she was a spoiled brat and she could get anything she wanted i think they just fit, give in to anything and she thought that's an abuse she just realized it when she got really really old and sick you know no matter what she enjoyed those times you know she manipulated everybody you know narcissism is terrible they're consider themselves like entitled for anything you know took advantage of other people especially my grandfather he's having a sign of a borderline personality disorder too you know so yeah and right now i i never go back to the philippines for almost two, 12 years it is because of what i saw you know and I'm so happy with my life now, you know, seeing it and especially a lot of narcissism going around, you know exactly where it's coming from. First of all, you know how to handle it, you know your boundaries of what you're willing to handle, you cannot feed on their you know, needs of attention, your time or energy, you know, you need to take care of yourself, you know. We are all different, it depends on our own opinion of how to, we see it. There's a lot of people actually using their narcissist too. So even the narcissist themselves, they have their own struggle. So 
you if you don't want to be used by a narcissist and people using the narcissist then you need to protect yourself and it's all going on in our surroundings you know so yeah have a good one and good night